This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. During this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make your own shop in Unity. So to start off I will show you how this looks and then show you how to do it. So we have our player here which I created in a previous tutorial and then I made a, this sim simple shop with a desk and a cashier essentially and when I get close to uh, the shop this shop uh, is enabled so a panel with a couple of items so apples oranges and bananas and when I click on one of these you can see that uh, per apple purchased you have one apple and I remember the remainder of your coins same goes for oranges and bananas different prices for each one and uh, they are de depending if you have the coins so let's demonstrate how this works and how you can do it in here we have well the shop which is just a game object you don't really have to do it but uh, it's just a couple of cubes in place and a script which enables the shop panel which I will be showing you in a bit. And then we have the canvas. So in the canvas, we have this panel here, which is the background, the black background, uh, which makes the shop and the panel a bit more visible. So it makes the menu a bit more visible. And under it, it has uh, the shop title, title. So this is just a shop. You can name it to whatever you want. And it's important to note that I've imported a font asset from the internet. I will link a link in the description for that and it's free to use It's not mine and in order to use that when you download it It will get something like this and in order to make this uh, a font asset for uh, To use it for your text mesh pro you need to right click on it create and click text mesh pro and cl click font asset and this will create a font asset to use for the text mesh pro and this will look like this and then you can attach it to your font asset here. Okay, enough of that. So we have the title, we have the shop items, which is essentially a parent of all items, including the apples, oranges, and bananas. And this has a grid layout, a group attached to it. And this is responsible for uh, organizing and moving your stuff around. And just to demonstrate what this does, I have three items here on my uh, shop items. So three items, three children under it. If I duplicate one, you'll see that the new child is duplicated next to the previous one. Unlike when you duplicate, let's say for example, I'll duplicate the title, it will duplicate on top of the title. So it gets duplicated on top. And due to the fact that I have this layout group, it gets duplicated next to it and it organizes all uh, items and all groups and stuff uh, according to the stuff that you are here. So depending on the properties that you set on the group, it will organize and move around your uh, items essentially in an organized order. So very useful stuff. There are a couple of layouts that you can use. So you write layouts, you can see horizontal and vertical, and also a layout element that you can use on each element to maybe uh, have different values for that specific element. So Make sure to attach this to make it a bit more organized and make life easier for yourself. And then we have the items. The items themselves have essentially a name, which is in this case the apple. Then it's the, an image. I didn't bother adding images, but you can think of this as the item its image. So maybe an apple or maybe in your case, gun or whatever you're trying to sell. And just a decoration, it doesn't serve anything. It's just for decorational purposes. And then there is a button. So this is the button that you press when you are purchasing the item. You can make it a bit more visible and more uh, notable that the player can more easily understand this is a button and they need to press that in order to make the purchase. But it's up to you. I wanted to make this as simple as possible. And this button is calling a function in a script which I'll be showing you in just a bit and checks if the player has enough money to make the purchase and under this button we have the item price which is just a text with the 10 on it and then a coin image that's about it and let's just go to the script that handles the purchases so this is the script that handles the purchases we have coins number of apples oranges and bananas so the amount of the item your player has and the cost of each one and these are the functions for uh, each individual item. 
and then we have let's say for example for the buy apple we're checking if the coins that the player has is more or equal to the cost of the apple if it is the player is able to purchase this we're adding uh, one to the number of apples that the player has then reducing the uh, cost of the apple from the coins the player has and then just printing something on the screen just for the uh, demonstration purposes and this is the same for the other ones as well just for different variables different values for each one so a very simple script and now let's go to the open shop or on how we are opening the shop essentially when we're colliding with the shop so uh, when we go to the shop so on this game object i've attached a collider on it and changed the shape of it to be uh, essentially a box around my shop and when these uh, when the player enter the shop it will open the menu but it's important to note that the collision doesn't actually occur so the collision won't block our player it will just uh, call a function in our script and that's about it so it's important to note that you need to set the is trigger property to true so uh, when the co player enters our box this will be called so the on trigger function is called it will check if the collider of the game object game object that has collided with the shop is the player and if it is we need to activate the shop and uh, on the same note when the player exits the shop it needs to deactivate the shop so it sets the uh, shop to false and at the start function all we do is just get the shop panel and deactivate it so it's not uh, enabled all the time so let's go back and demonstrate this one last time how this works now that you actually understand how this works so again we have the player moving around the shop is disabled go going close you can see that it gets enabled and you can buy uh, the items as you like and you can see the items are being printed the messages are being printed so amazing thank you for watching and i will see you during the next time if you like this video make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment if you want to see anything else from this channel goodbye want to become a professional game developer I designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal. Make sure to check the link in the description for more information.